I am really super excited. I just got back from our thrifting trip and it was a success. I'm very happy with the things that we found and I just wanted to show everybody that. So first I'm actually going to take my jacket off because I like literally just got home. But I decided to just sit down and make a video of what I got before I get distracted and have to make dinner and everything else. I found this perfect jewelry thing today for Violet and Ada's room. And I really loved it. I kind of debated like getting it or not getting it, but it was only like $1.50. So I decided to get it and it's actually gonna serve the purpose perfectly. So this is it. I got this one at the Goodwill. Oh, it's like reflecting what I'm sitting by. Um, so this is like cute little mirror. I'll just cover that for a second. I'll probably put like a little scripture or something right here for them. You can hang bracelets or necklaces from there and the same for here. And it's like the perfect little like minty color. I love mint, like bluish green. That's like my favorite color. So yeah, this is just a dollar. So another thing that I'm always looking through is like baskets and wood, the wood section. I just, I just love the look of real wood. So I kind of just like browse and I've made my own like wreaths before. I've kind of been collecting these when I find them because they're like really big and you can make really cute. I just whacked myself in the face with that but it didn't hurt so I'm okay. <laughs> Anyways, you can turn this into like a really cool project here. You just like slap some green stuff right there and hang it on your wall or whatever. I love these. I know it's kind of weird but I have, this is like my third one. And eventually when we have our own house, I'm going to put them like all on the wall and it's going to be awesome. Here we are with the next item, this really awesome basket. I'm going to have to scoot back so that you all can see here. It is like a basket that sits at the steps and it's probably terrible for collecting clutter, but I'm like kind of lazy sometimes. And when we did live in a house that had stairs, I just kind of pile all the stuff that need to go upstairs the foot of the stairs until I was like ready to go upstairs so these are really awesome and I have never really found any that cheap um, this one only costed $1.99 it is missing a little chunk right here but I feel like that doesn't like ruin the quality or the look so I really love this find it's like this cool little hat box type thing it's got like these little nail heads and stitching really obvious stitching so it looks like super cool and like high quality it's really not it's like cardboard looks like it might be leather but it's not it's cardboard so I did take this one home today and it was only 99 cents I don't know how to use a pattern I don't really know how to sew but I thought this one was like super cool I've been watching a couple youtubers who use patterns and the dress like this one right here let me see if I can get it in the camera that one's super cute with the floral I think it's super cute and if I can't use this I'll probably just resell it somewhere but it was only like 30 cents and I feel like you could actually turn this into like a really cute modest dress or like nightgown or something. I don't know but I really liked it and I would love to learn how to use a pattern so I, I don't know. I just thought it was like a good find and it only cost me a little more than a quarter. I have been needing like gloves for my boys so I ended up getting them each a pair of gloves for school. Um, this one has like cute little like rubber dots on there for grip. So I'm gonna just send these with the boys in their backpacks. Oh, that's Tatie, she's here and thirsty. So I'll be right back. This one I got for our dog. It's like a really cool, good quality uh, leash. Um, it was only $2.99, but it looks like brand new. Like, like a dog didn't actually ever wear this or use this. My dog is really cute and she's really small. But she loves to chew things, and she's chewed through so many of these, and like collars, if it's loose, like there she goes, if it's loose at all, she will like literally like hook her teeth underneath and just eat it and destroy it, and it drives me crazy. So whenever I can find stuff like this at a thrift shop, until I teach her not to do that, um, I will continue to buy these just in case. And I like that it like kind of, it's like color coordinated or something, like it matches, but it doesn't match. It's super cute for a dog and it'll definitely come in handy because her other leashes are just destroyed and trash. So, yeah, uh, this is going to be useful. Here's my dog. This is my dog. This is Winnie. This is Winifred Biscuit. She is so cute and so little, but she is a troublemaker, aren't you? She can get into some trouble. Her pastimes are eating her collars and jumping onto the table to eat the leftovers. Alright, you go do something different. 
I love these little um, Corel bowls. I have several. I literally just use Goodwill Corel plates and bowls right now for the stage of life. My kids act like it's a basketball and they put the dishes into the sink. And at a young age, and they can't really reach the sink, like they don't really do it on purpose, but they definitely throw things into the sink. And these have been like a lifesaver. I don't spend very much money on them. Like these, both of these bowls were only 79 cents together, and they're super like cute. And they're tiny, so for my girls, they're like perfect for them and their serving sizes. So I can definitely use this, and it'll, it'll be put to use. And... I'm going to continue to use them until I can figure out what other kind of bowls and plates I might want down the road. But for now, used is just fine for us. I'm trying to do a much more neutral tone throughout the whole, our whole house and like my wardrobe and our everything. So I ended up buying this mug because it's like super minimal and neutral and it's like a perfect cup. Like for me, this is what I like. Like it's microwavable. It's sturdy, so it's the, like hot liquids aren't gonna burn your hands if you hold it like this. It has like the perfect handle, but I have like a ton of mugs, and like I said, I'm trying to transfer over to more neutral, so I'm not really sure if this was 100% like a good, great buy, but it was only 59 cents, and if I don't like it later on down the road, I can put it back in a Goodwill box and donate it, or just give it to a friend maybe if they are wanting to go more neutral tones or just keep it. I don't know. I think it's like a really good mug. Like it's a solid mug. And a lot of my mugs are pretty girly. So when we have like men come over, a lot of times they don't want to use my girly mugs. So these are good backups just in case like some manly man wants to drink something out of this mug. My husband had brought up just the other day that we really need a coffee container. And then I went thrifting. Aren't these amazing? These are just so stinking cute. It even has like this weird little wooden spoon that is still attached, like it's not missing in action. It has like the rubber right here that makes it airtight. And it is white. I've been going for like a much more like, like I said, neutral tones in the kitchen. And I have some super cute like chalkboard labels that I can put like on the top or on the side to label it as coffee. And I also found this one. They were both only $1.99 and they both had the spoons. Let me see if I can spin this around. They both had the spoons. This one is like almost not used at all on the inside. It looks a little dirty on the outside so it must have just sat like on a fridge or like a microwave or something. So they are a little bit dirty but they are in really great shape beside that and I'm actually really excited to put our coffee grounds in there. I think it's really gonna help improve the flavor. So also, my hair is pretty crazy. I tried on a ton of clothes today at the thrift shop. I guess not a ton, but like probably six different things. And it like, you know, made my hair a little bit crazy and there's some hair sticking out. And I also had to wear like a mask the whole time, obviously. So these are like a little weird, but it's fine. Like, it's fine. It's a good look for like thrifting school. What else do I have here? Okay, this I'm pretty excited about. At first I was like, me. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna like, really get its use out of but for a really long time I've been wanting something just like this except I wanted one of these in the shape of a fish I like really quirky different things and this really jumped out at me and I'm like yes I need it it's not in the shape of a fish but I still love it and I'm still hoping I can get like good use out of it I just love pictures like this and I actually use pictures like on the reg this is super dusty and disgusting, so it was probably not ever used, but I love it. And it's like perfect for my hand. It's gonna make the drinks I feel like taste better. Maybe not, probably not. But I really like love this vase, or it's not a vase. Pitcher, I really love this pitcher. I forgot to say how much this was, but this is only $3.99. Pitchers like this are like ridiculous, ex ridiculously expensive, and I don't know why. But this one was only $3.99. I really pretty much struck out pretty bad at the Goodwill. I didn't find too much there, but I did find a lot at Neighborhood Relief. Um, so I'm gonna start with those first. I found this really comfy, soft t-shirt, sweater thing, long sleeve. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so that you can see it all. It's like an olive green with cream and navy blue stripes on the arms. Not a huge fan of that. I think it's kind of weird. I don't really wear too much navy. 
I feel like I could even wear this like as a pajama top. Like it is so comfy. And I just love those like button details. It's like little wooden buttons and they're just so cute and I love them. Anyways, I thought it was so cute. It looks brand new, feels brand new. There's no like, I call it like pilling, like when it's like pilly, it has those little fuzz balls on it. Nothing like that. So I know it's like pretty much brand new. This is only $1.99 worth it. I have been looking for the longest time for like a neutral, comfortable sweater that fit me well, that didn't have like a super low neckline, and I found this one today, and I just love it. It's just so plain, and I love it because that's what I'm going for. But I really love this sweater. It will match literally everything that I own. This one I actually only paid $2.50 for, and it's from The Gap. So yes, I love this one. Super duper cute. All right, so this one is a little weird. I'm gonna have to stand up to show you guys this one. It's weird, but I love it. This is like a sweater dress and it's amazing. I love it. Like, it's just so cool. I just, it's a cozy, fits me. It's not awkwardly placed. Like, you know how some sweater dresses can be like really weirdly fitting. This one's like not at all and it has no tag. So I don't even know where it's from or the size. It's like this rusty, pumpkin-y, orangish red. I can't even describe it. I think it's more like rust, but it has like some weird purple streaking. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, anyways, it's, I love it. When I was with Rebecca, she actually had found this one for me. And once again, those autumn colors though, when she handed me this, oh my word. I was so excited. It is so comfortable. It fits me like a glove. It is actually a medium. I usually wear small, especially in sweaters, but it is a medium. It's Pink Republic, which I believe is a Target brand. Um, it has a super cute detail right here. It is just so comfy. I, I, like, I don't know if you've ever bought a sweater before that feels like plastic. It's horrible, and you should just throw all those sweaters away that feel like that, because there's sweaters out there like this one that is super comfy and feels really good on your skin, and it's just like soft. And I can't believe I just did that, because I just bought this at a thrift shop, and it touched my face. But you know, I tried it on, so it's already touched my face. But it's fine. Yes, I love that one. So from the Goodwill, this is what I ended up picking up. This one is for Violet. It is just a little like jumper dress. She actually goes to like a private Christian school and they are required, their dress code is to wear jumpers. And they're a little bit hard to find, like in her size, the jumpers would be pretty short. So I always look through like the bigger sizes. This one's actually an eight, but she tried it on and it fits her perfectly and it's like long. She actually destroys her jumpers quite a bit during like craft time or whatever. She always comes home with like pen marks and marker marks and it's just kind of funny, but um, I thought she could probably use another one of these. It's like comfy. It's like really soft and stretchy. So I figured she could use that. So I got that for her. And I think the price for kids clothes at the Goodwill is like $2.49 or something. But it's like really cheap and affordable. Like way more affordable than buying this new. And it'll fit her for probably the next school year as well. This one I found for Ada. I had her try this on and it was long enough. But then I realized she tried it on backwards. And as you can tell, it's a bit longer in the back than in the front. But I'm really hopeful this is going to fit her next summer. So this is just like a Walmart dress, but it's a 6'6X. And I'm okay with buying bigger sizes for them, that's fine. Now for the clothes that I got for myself. And this hair is like killing me. Like it's killing me. It's fine. It's fine. Like I literally ripped out some hair up here. Like on a hanger or something at the thrift store earlier and it was kind of funny but so i got this shirt i think their shirts are really overpriced their shirts are like for 49 and to me that's like overpriced when i can get one at a yard sale for like 50 cents anyways it has like really cute sleeve detail i don't know if you can see that it like makes it look kind of flowy perfectly high neckline but not like choking me to death neckline this embroidery though it's just so cute. So this brand, I don't know, it's called Divided. And even the tag is like lace. Like how cute is that? It's actually, it actually says H&M on there. So I guess it's an H&M brand. But I thought it was super cute with like a jean skirt or like my jumper 
or something along those lines. I just really loved it. Last but not least, probably one of my most favorite finds of the day. Another olive color shirt. I love this one actually more than the button up one. It's not as like soft, but I am really kind of going more for like a comfortable look versus like a classy look for like the colder months. And I'm wanting like a neutral sweatshirt and that's what this is. It's just like Sonoma brand size small, which I usually don't fit their small. So when I put this on at first, I was like, oh, that's kind of big. But when I like tucked in the bottom into my skirt, it actually just looked like it was made for me. So I took it home. It does have the tighter cuffs, which I can appreciate because I have like really skinny wrists. You can see what I mean. Like it stays put. It's not like moving and falling off all the time. I'm gonna wash it and probably wear it tomorrow with this skirt. So don't judge me. That is my whole modest thrift haul. And I just appreciate you guys watching and the support. I hope that you're enjoying this content. If you like it, share it, thumbs up it, and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have like a really fun, awesome rest of your week. And have a blessed rest of your day. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I actually recorded this a while back and I didn't realize that I had so many audio issues. But now that I've been editing a bit more, I kind of know what I need to be doing for the videos. So again, sorry about all those weird sounds. But thanks for watching and I hope to do more videos like this pretty soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.